Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about my beautiful camera. I purchased the Canon EOS R a few months ago and it's literally the best camera I've ever had. Because of the reviews on YouTube, this camera was not well received when it came out in 2018. But for a regular YouTuber or a regular person who is not a tech reviewer, this camera is amazing. Picture quality wise, it is comparable to the 5D Mark IV. If you know anything about Canon, you've heard YouTubers talk about Canon and what gear they have. People who have the 5D Mark IV have a really good camera. The best camera after the 5D Mark IV was the 1DX, which is what Peter McKinnon used for most of his videos, especially in the beginning, because now I think he's transitioning to mirrorless as well but it's a big deal. So for a regular person, this camera packs a punch and a half. So first of all, it's really compact compared to, I have a 6D Mark II, which was my first full frame camera. Before that, just to let you know, I've had a Canon T4i, I've had a Canon 70D. The 70D was like the best camera ever. So for me, the Canon EOS R is more competent than the 70D because it's a full frame camera. And also because it's more modern, it has better features and it gives me such a good picture quality. I've had this camera since October and I'm just really happy with it. I'm just impressed. So this camera does film 4K. I have not been able to film 4K because I don't have a computer that can do that. So yeah, if you're upgrading to stuff, you have to upgrade your whole gear. I'm not there yet. I use a MacBook Pro 2011 and my husband just specced it out for me and it's like great, but it's showing its age and also because I can't do 4K with it, it's kind of limiting, but I do everything I need to do with it. I've been doing YouTube and I've been editing my YouTube videos on that laptop, no problem. So I'm on the Canon website on the Canon EOS R page. And so it's a full frame sensor, like I said, it's an RF mount, it's a mirrorless camera. So it's an RF mount, which means that your older Canon lenses will not fit unless you purchase a adapter, which is something that is absolutely necessary for now because the RF lenses most of them are super expensive. They released recently the Nifty 50 as an RF mount, which I want to get that because that means the size of your setup will be super small. Right now, when I use my 50 millimeter, it's bigger because I have the adapter. I'm thinking about it. It's not, it's not like super important for me to do that, but it would be nice. It has eye detection, which is something that I didn't really have before with my previous cameras. And I think it's a great feature right now. It's on for me. I don't usually put it on because it can face detection for a sit down video like this is fine, but it has eye detection. And so I think it's great. So that's a feature that I was interested in because I'm not used to eye detection. I'm used to just picking where I want the camera to focus. And sometimes it doesn't work, but at least you always have the possibility of just choosing your focus point manually. You're not like stuck with the feature. I am personally a hobbyist. I take pictures for fun. I've never done any photo shoots, any shooting sessions, anything like that. I take my camera with me wherever I go that I feel like will be fun to take pictures. And I just take pictures and mostly I prefer candids. So I don't pose people. I don't ask them to, oh, come here. I want to take your picture. That's not what I do. I'm an introvert. So just going, even if it's people I know, going around in a reception hall asking people to take pictures it's kind of sometimes it's intimidating for me so i don't do that i mainly just bring a few lenses with me and then take candidates of people those are the pictures personally that i prefer i like to take people with a relaxed expression you know i i just like 
the natural face that people make. So that's why I prefer taking candid. So video recording. So it does 4K. Like I was saying, it does 4K, all eye or IPB. It does full HD in 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second, and 24 frames per second as well. All eye or IPB again, which my 6D Mark II did not do. And personally, I think it does make a difference. Unless I really didn't know how to work my 6D Mark II, my picture quality is not the same with my EOS R. My videos on YouTube look so much better. I don't know, maybe it's my imagination. It also does HD and 720p, which... I never film in 120 frames per second. I don't even film in 60 frames per second. I prefer 30 frames per second or 24. I debated between 30 and 24, but with this camera, I decided that 30 was the best for YouTube. And so this is what I've been filming with the last the last few videos that I have uploaded. So other than that, the differences that I've noticed are, and I don't think anybody on YouTube has mentioned that, but for hobbyists, for amateurs, there are no automatic modes. I used to use with my 6D Mark II, I used the kids mode, I used the group mode, and I used the low light. It was like a candlelight mode. I used those modes with my 6D Mark II and with the Canon EOS R, you don't get any of those modes. I don't know if it was the same thing with the 5D Mark IV. I'm guessing that's why they did it like that. Let me look at pictures of the 5D Mark IV. If I look at that picture top down, you, you can see that the dial, you only have the the auto you still have auto so i have auto p tv av and manual as well as bulb c1 c2 c3 so in the dial for this 5d mark 4 you didn't have a bunch of other modes like usually there's an action mode there's a flower which i forget what is it is for and there are a bunch of other modes for the you know lower levels entry levels whatever and uh, so the 6d mark ii okay so on the dial on the 6d mark ii you had the full auto which is the green which i saw on the 5d mark ii mark IV, sorry and there's also a creative auto which i love to use actually and there was a scene mode which is the scene mode where you would use um, the camera on different settings and and then there was the regular P TV AV manual B and then C1 C2 so on this camera you get FV if you want to have it on full auto everything auto you just put every option in auto and then you'll get FV is going to be full auto green mode Otherwise, you can choose your aperture and then keep everything else auto. You can choose your shutter speed and keep everything auto. Or you can choose the ISO and keep everything else auto. It's, it's pretty cool, actually. I think it's a good feature, but I was really, I was really surprised that the camera just did not come with any features for the amateur who wanted to jump to mirrorless and actually there was the canon rp i had a choice between getting the r the eos r or the eos rp and i chose the r because i felt like the rp was a little too crippled i'm really excited about this camera it's actually really good and i'm really loving playing with it taking pictures and also making youtube videos i've been filming non-stop with it since uh, october this is what i've been using and i'm getting to know it more and more and i love it and everything so one of the things that i can say that i don't really like about it is the placement of the mic jack it's kind of awkward in exactly where your um, screen is and i use the little screen the flip out screen which is something that I've loved ever since, even before my 
DSLRs, I had a Canon PowerShot A95 with a flip out screen. That's how I realized how great those screens were. And so every Canon camera I've had has had a flip out screen, the T4i, the 7ED, the 6D Mark II, which when Canon put that feature on the 6D Mark II, I was like, yeah, definitely the next full frame cameras will have it and all the mirrorless cameras have it. It's something that all the fans, customers were asking for and Canon finally delivered. So the R6, the R5, you use these cameras to take pictures, but you also use these cameras to film. And especially when you film, it's really useful. But I've also used my flip out screen for pictures. So it's useful both ways. I would say ergonomically speaking, Canon is Canon. The ergonomics for this camera are perfect. They are exactly what I expected from a Canon. I have nothing to say about it. The battery, that's the reason why I didn't choose the RP. The battery was a different battery than regular batteries that I'm used to. And I've had these batteries since my 7ED. So these batteries are, sorry. I've had those for years. I've had my 7ED since, I think I purchased my 7ED in 2016. So I've had batteries like this since 2016. My 7ED came with a big bundle with an extra battery with a camera bag with lens it was a 24 millimeter and different things and so I have this battery I've had spares of it I didn't want to start over with another system plus the RP the battery life was smaller so for me these these batteries they last a long time I can actually film for two hours on a charge and I've done it before and it works out really well. I could also purchase on Amazon a battery pack so that you can just plug it in. Uh, I forget what they call them, a battery adapter or something like that. But since my batteries are so efficient, I haven't felt the need. My filming sessions have not been hindered by the battery. I always have a full battery in the camera and another one charging. So in case while I'm filming my battery dies, because sometimes I start a video and the battery is right now, it's a third. Well, it shows that I'm on the second line. So sometimes I start a video and I'm on the second line. And then when the battery dies before the two hours, if I film for two hours and I have another one in my, on the charger. So I never have a problem. I know people who use the battery adapter. They never run out of juice. But for me, it's not that big of a deal to find a solution to something that's not a problem. So I've never really felt the need to purchase. Even when I had the T4i, I had spare batteries and it was working fine. Then when I switched to the 7ED, I got two batteries with the system. So I didn't even need to purchase batteries. And now I have this battery. I have two more that I got from Amazon and the battery that came with the camera and I'm gold. I have two battery chargers four batteries i am definitely not switching systems because i have i have everything i need so as a mom photographer as a hobbyist amateur lover of photography and also as a small youtuber this camera is the best and not just for small youtubers actually because there are bigger youtubers who use it as well and they rave about it and for a more professional mirrorless camera for YouTubers, not necessarily for, for professional photographers because this camera doesn't have a dual, car, dual, dual card slot. And there's a bunch of professional features, I guess, that it doesn't have that is kind of a deal breaker for professional photographers. But for a YouTuber, if you are thinking about getting a full frame camera, your budget is higher than what you would spend for a 7ED equivalent, which is now the 90D, which is a great camera apparently. If you want full frame, go ahead and get the EOS R. But if you prefer the features that the 90D, I would say 
research and compare the, the uh, different specs from the two systems because apparently for certain people the 90D is better but I switched from crop sensor to full frame a few years ago and I was not about to go back to crop sensor for me full frame is where it's at also I use all my previous lenses with it I have a collection which I think I'm gonna film a video about my Canon lens collection. All to say that, yeah, it's amazing. I love this camera and I think that it's, it's really, Canon really did a great job with its transition. People were waiting for that, for those real full frame mirrorless cameras. And in my opinion, Canon has not disappointed. I also went to the Canon event. They have like a, roadshow that they do where you can try their products and i went here in montreal i went to try out the r6 and the r5 and i tried a few of their new rf lenses and oh my god they are amazing i felt so giddy and happy to be able to participate and i i encourage anyone if canon releases new products they will do road shows they will do events to showcase new products i would encourage anyone to participate in that thank you so much guys stay tuned for my other tech videos i will probably do the lens collection that i talked about and others thank you so much for watching